Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and this is part four of my Studfast series. So like I said, if you're new here, my name is Katie and I do videos about faith, travel, adoption, and just general lifestyle videos. One of the things that I've been focusing on this year is a word of the year. So I started this series back in January and I chose a word of the year to focus on throughout the entire year of 2020 and that word was steadfast. So the word steadfast means not changing or losing purpose, unwavering, firm in belief and determination. And so that has been my word of the year. If you're wondering why I chose this word of the year or anything like that, I do have a playlist that is my Steadfast series, so I will link that above for you to check out. But to give you just the general idea, basically for a long time I've struggled with consistency. Like I would say I was going to do something, I would make a goal for myself, and then in the moment I just wouldn't feel like doing it, and I would just stop. And then at the end of the day, or at the end of the year or the month, I would be left feeling like, why did I do that? I should have kept with my goal, but I just let my emotions in the moment kind of control what I was doing. And I just really didn't feel good about it. And so I just decided this is a change I need to make. I really need to focus on being more steadfast and just working towards it. And obviously I'm not going to be perfect. Like this has not been a perfect journey, but I wanted to stick with it. And I'm actually an Enneagram type four. If you're familiar with the Enneagram personality system, I'm a type four and oftentimes we like to follow our emotions instead of following necessarily what we should do. Um, we have a lot of feelings and we like to just follow those. And while there are beautiful things about that, there are also ways I think I can grow personally. Also, if you are interested in checking out my Enneagram video, you can check it up above. Um, but it really helps me to try to combat that a little bit because I feel that I, you know, I feel more successful and I get more things done when I actually stick with things. If you hear noises in the background, I have a two-year-old and my husband's playing with her and there's just no controlling how loud two-year-olds can be. <laughs> so basically as a way of kind of reflecting on this steadfast journey for the year and also as a way to just practice consistency, practice steadfastness, I have committed to each month doing a little reflection of how I did in my steadfast journey. So like I said, this is my reflection for April. So each month I have chosen three categories to discuss my progress in. The first one is my creative endeavors. So obviously if you're watching this, you know I have a YouTube channel and I also have a blog. And when I started these, I started my blog um, back in, I wanna say August or September. And then I started my YouTube stuff back in November of 2019. And I will be honest with you, I was absolutely terrified to start these things because I thought I would not stick with them. I was like, I've blogged before, I've had probably two different blogs in the past, but this time I knew I, if I was going to do it, I wanted to do it consistently. Like I wanted to post each week. I didn't want to post once and then not post for five months and forget about my blog. So even though I was terrified, I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway, I'm going to start my blog and I'm going to commit to it. And I'm going to try not to overwhelm myself by trying to get everything perfect. I'm just going to focus on, you know, like posting each week when I say I'm going to post. And as I've kind of reflected in previous months, this month has been the same. Like I have really posted consistently on my blog and on my YouTube channel. And it's just amazing how good that feels. I really doubted myself. I doubted that I could do that. I doubted that I could stick with it. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try. <laughs> and so I did and I mean there was a while I think towards the beginning of April I think it maybe was the end of March or beginning of April I was posting like two videos a week and I've only told myself I'm posting one. So I think setting that goal kind of lower for myself and really trying to stick to that goal has helped me feel like I can do it and then I end up doing above and beyond that goal I've set for myself instead of setting like a somewhat unrealistic goal and then being like oh I failed so I guess I have to quit because that's sometimes my mentality so it's been really encouraging to see that and I've seen a lot of growth on my YouTube channel I mean my YouTube channel is tiny okay but I've seen growth and it's more than I expected because I really started this more for fun and for me uh, but it's been cool to see like how many different people like I have a lot of adoption videos that are really been taking off recently um, and it's just really really encouraging to see that when you show up it can actually help other people because so many people are commenting on those adoption videos being like, thank you so much, thank you for sharing your story. And you know, it's just really encouraging to see that discipline pay off so clearly. 
So one of my goals for this next month, for May, is to just keep recording. I want to start recording more videos ahead of time so that I have a lot of videos like stocked up, if you will, so that when times get crazy, which I'm sure they will because right now we're in quarantine and we're all stuck here, I have a lot of time to shoot videos. That way I have those ready so that I can stick with that posting schedule even if life gets crazy. So I'm trying to prepare. The second category is health. So I am just not the type of person who loves working out. I find it like difficult to get myself to stick to a consistent like cooking and eating schedule. And so I knew that was something I wanted to work on because I just feel better when I'm exercising more and I feel better when I'm sticking to, you know, like a grocery shopping schedule and sticking to this like weekly plan of making food. Plus it saves money if you don't eat out. So that is something that my husband has also been working on with me. He really is kind of in the same boat. Like we just oftentimes are like, let's just go get pizza or whatever. And so it's been really good because he's been really supportive. Um, and actually, if you watch my March reflection, we just like did not do well at all. And I think it was the beginning of quarantine. We just weren't used to things. And at this point, we're kind of used to how life is in this weird time. And we've actually both done way better this month. We kind of, what we do is we kind of set goals for ourselves for the week. So like, it's like how many times we can, you know, have dessert or drink a Coke or a Pepsi or whatever. And we kind of set these like limits and then we give ourselves like a little reward at the end of the week if we meet the goal. And we both have found that really motivating. And <laughs> even though they're just like stupid little things, like I think we both said we can spend like $10 on something and you know what it helps at least for the beginning to get back on track um but we both i think we both stuck to our goals for three of the four weeks and the last week was just kind of weird and in addition we've been walking a lot more which has been great because that is something for me for my mental health for my physical health it just really helps me to to be walking and to be doing any sort of light exercise regularly is just really great for me puts me in a better mood. I think this is for most people, but it puts me in a better mood, it makes me feel more productive. It just gives me more energy. And so I feel like I sleep better at night when I do that. There's a lot of great things about it, but still sometimes I can't seem to get myself to do it. Um, but this month has been really good for that. And we've been going out and doing like hiking on trails sometimes, like they're pretty low key hikes cause we're bringing our toddler, but <laughs> you know, it's it's been a really good time. So. We both really enjoyed getting back out there and working towards that and just feeling better overall. And the third and last category is my spiritual life. So one thing that I have been striving towards is getting more consistent in my devotionals. And I have not set like a goal for myself that I have to do it every single day. Obviously, like spending time in the word, spending time with the Lord is a huge, wonderful, important thing in my life. and. I would love to get to that point where I'm doing it every single day. However, I knew that if I told myself you have to do this every day and then I missed a couple days, I would start to feel guilty or I would just like quit. And that's not what it's about. Like God doesn't want me to feel guilty because I'm not spending time with him. God wants me to desire to spend time with him. And so I've really tried to keep that mentality and I've tried to shoot for like, a you know, like three to four days a week at least that I'm setting aside intentional time to spend with the Lord in prayer and reading my Bible. I mentioned this in previous videos, but I'm actually using this app and it's called the Bible app. And what we do is my small group from church, it's just the women from my like small group, we all have a Bible study plan on there together. And we try to do three days a week. And what's really cool is it like gives you a chapter and then it gives you a, like a spot where you can write a comment and everyone in your group can read the comment. And so you can go through and read what other people were thinking about when they're reading it or like you can put a prayer request in there or whatever. And so that's been a really awesome way to stay connected with those women and also just encourages me to get in my Bible because it tells me when, you know, Alyssa did this day today and she completed her devos and it sends me an email. So if I've kind of just, you know, if it's just totally slipped my mind for the day that I was gonna do that, it's like a little reminder. And I'm still behind some of the women in the group, but you know, I'm still just trying to stick with doing one a day. I'm not gonna like freak out and punish myself and try to do five in a day to catch up. Like I'm going day by day. And like I, I mentioned this in another video, but I don't wanna come across like 
legalistic about this at all, and I hope I'm not coming across that way. I just know that when I spend time in God's Word and spend time in prayer, I feel so much more at peace, and I, the way that I interact with other people is coming from a place of grace and understanding rather than a place of anger or judgment or whatever, because the more time you spend in God's Word and in prayer, the more absolutely aware you are of God's grace to you. And it's really hard not to then extend that to others. If you're truly like letting it penetrate your heart and sit in it, um, I mean, it can do amazing things. So I know I definitely feel it when I've been out of the word even for a week. I start to be a little more grumpy, a little more irritable. Like I start to just be less patient with other people because you start to think, well, they don't know how to do this. I know how to do this. And it's like, no. <laughs> so it, for me, it's just a way to ground myself and, and remind myself of the grace that I've been given and how I need to be able to extend that grace to others. And Lord knows... I'm still working on this. He's working on me, I should say, to be better in that area. So that is my steadfast reflection for April. Um, I hope that by hearing kind of like my failures and my successes over the steadfast journey, that you feel encouraged to keep going with your goals even when you don't feel like it or even when it gets hard or even when you fail or you choose to fail because we've all been there. And you know, the path to success is not a straight line. I know it's a cheesy saying and everyone says it, but it's true. Like you can't expect to just set all these goals and be perfectly going towards them. There's going to be dips in the road. There's going to be times you don't feel like doing it. There's going to be times you feel really sad and, you know, or you feel upset about something and you're not going to be able to stick with it the way you want. But what's important is that you keep going and each month you can look back and say, I'm a little bit better this month than I was that month and, and being intentional about it. And obviously I also want to point out like I truly believe that God is the one who changes us. I truly believe like it's the Holy Spirit working in us that you know brings us to these goals. It's not me on my own strength but I do think that there are things I can choose to do and decisions I can make that will help that along. That will you know I mean God's not going to just like pull me out of something if I'm just sitting there being like, I want to be lazy. I want to do nothing. Like I have to stick with those things in order to see some results. But I just wanted to mention that because I don't want you to feel like you have to do things on your own strength or you're alone. Because in my experience, doing things on your own strength doesn't work. I've been there. <laughs> so definitely be in prayer about it. Be in prayer about whatever your goal is and just keep pursuing it as best you can. Don't beat yourself up and we'll get through this together. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. Bye.